in this lesson we will cover the sharepoint http request get the people field we have a list for people it has a people column <coughs> person or group column and two of the data has values in the hub and rest are all oh one more and rest are all nulls so let's create a flow instant flow instant cloud flow Very simple. Send an HTTP request. Request to SharePoint. Let's compose this in a notepad. people column same rest call except that select is equal to people column slash name now whenever do we do a select on the people column we have to specify and Oh, where is the and? Sorry, I have a Chinese keyboard. I imported some laptops. They were Chinese. Nobody was buying it. So I got one of those laptop at a cheaper price. So the key is I need to put some sticker on it. No. So anyway, expand. This is needed. Expand is needed. Otherwise, it will fail. expand is needed remember so we take this and we put it here once again here except application slash json colon o data is equal to no meta data save save two saves are not needed but i have this tendency to save oh i don't know why Continue. Run flow. Done. Now, <coughs> alum and n. Look at the format of name. Others are blank, and one more has name.
So this is how you get the people column name extracted from the query. You must do this expand people column. Then the value need people column slash name. It's front slash. Yeah, front slash. Oh, one of those. Black slash. Front slash name. Uh, this is how you extract the name uh, field of the people person or group property in the SharePoint field.